Okay, folks, just a heads up. If you've seen this article linked somewhere, before you get all excited, it's fake. I've got to admit, at first, I actually fell for it myself. I saw it on another page. And, uh, well, it's not impossible. It's This article talks about how a Viking boat was found near the Mississippi. And, uh... Yeah, it would be quite far from the coast and it, it would definitely be a sensation to find out that Vikings have gone that far. But no, the problem is this. If you click on the disclaimer of worldnewsdailyreport.com, it says here it's a news and political satire web publication. Any resemblance to the truth is purely coincidental. So this is complete bogus. Unfortunately, it would have been pretty damn interesting. Um, and it's not that obvious, and that's what bugs me a little bit about this. Well, yeah, the, they do have this disclaimer on their website, but if people link to it or, you know, copy parts of it on other sites, then you can't really tell. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people took this seriously. And uh, that's, of course, spreading misinformation. To be fair, it's not their fault if somebody links to that article without doing their research and without figuring out that it's actually satire. It still kind of annoys me to see that because, well, you know how people are. In many cases, they don't bother to, to check. And the reason why I figured it out, I was completely unaware of this website. So I did not know that it's satire. And it's not like the domain name tells you anything about it. it seems legit at first but the way i found out is i was looking for sources you know i want to see references and of course there are none because there is nothing to reference it's purely made up and that should also be a warning sign to you whenever you see an article like this and they do not tell you where the information is from you know no references nothing you should be skeptical. To be fair, if you look at some of the other articles, they are very clearly just for fun. I mean, <laughs> three meter tall squirrel killed by army after bloody rampage. In Ireland, squirrel alcoholism out of control, says top expert. Um, yeah. And climbers encounter Sasquatch in Colorado. Oh, crap. I... You know what? I think some people might actually completely jump on this and take this seriously and take it as evidence of Sasquatch. Uh, and yeah, things like that. Arctic penguins now extinct. Feminine hygiene. Let's see. Macaroni and cheese bath makes top model skin whiter. Yeah. Again, some people will probably believe that, but a lot of these articles, you have to be kind of mentally challenged to believe them, or at least very ignorant and uh, uneducated. But there are plenty of things which are not that obvious, and that kind of bothers me. Like, cannabis discovered in prehistoric tomb? That doesn't seem to be absurd at first glance. It's possible. And then we have... Things like this. Japanese whaling crew eaten alive by killer whale. 16 dead. If you know anything about killer whales, you can already guess that it's bullshit. But a lot of people have these negative stereotypes about so-called killer whales. I don't think it's a good term. They are orcas. It's a much better term. But uh, they may actually believe that and they may, that may reinforce their, you know, prejudice. So I'm not exactly happy about that, but, um, you know, ultimately it's your responsibility to make sure that the information that you find is accurate and that there are some sources and that you can actually trace the references. Um, yeah, <laughs> new nicotine-free tampon approved, as if all tampons had nicotine in them. But uh, yeah, just uh, as a heads up, like I said, would have been really awesome if this was true, but no, it's not. If you've fallen for this, don't feel bad. It's actually convincingly written. And if you have seen it linked somewhere else, you just don't know what kind of website this is. But uh, yeah, now you know.